Good morning. It's a quarter to seven. Bit of a late start this morning. We're heading into the mist. Actually, we're heading back the direction we came from at the moment. <laughs> we should be heading into that mist somewhere. No, but first, we have to get back to the to the road. As per usual, we have grand plans for today. But um, there are a couple of climbs today, unlike yesterday. So we'll see whether we can pull over 20 plus with 2,000 foot worth of climbing. Well, it depends on what the gradient's like. Yeah, and the ground. Yeah. <laughs> when it's rocky, it's hard to make progress. Somebody's had their Weetabix this morning. I think I'm hiking at a decent pace. And that's where I am in relation to Brian. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with him this morning. He's motoring up this hill as if it wasn't even there. And as I say, I think I'm doing a decent pace. At this rate, he's gonna reach Canada a week before me. <sighs> You're supposed to be scared of us, aren't you? They didn't. Yeah, you might be. Oops, like now he's <laughs> Oh, doing, doing, doing. <laughs> We've done our first hour. Now we're in the Alps. <laughs> we're in the Alps, okay. We're in the wrong country. Never mind. That's what happens when you just motor on. So these are the famous Trinity Alps, eh? Go on, impress us. Nice views. Still a lot of haze. I've been hearing slightly worrying reports. Have I said that already? About fires north of Etna. Apparently the smoke's quite bad there. But uh, at the moment I can't smell anything. So I don't know whether that's just morning haze or still the smoke. Currently on the lookout for a spring, which is supposed to be just below the PCT somewhere in this area. Would be good to find out because we're running a bit low on water. But unsurprisingly, Gatox isn't working. It eventually caught up with us yesterday when we hit the highway. You know, right at the end of the day, having last seen us at lunchtime. And it still thinks we're on that highway. Didn't even register we went point one to the campground. It is utterly, utterly effing useless. And this is the new installment. So Gatwick's are getting another email. Yep, the flowers are still beautiful. And the streams are still flowing. It's nice out here. Oh, I've actually overtaken Brian. <laughs> Just because he sat down to wait for me. And uh oh. Ooh, can you see him? Tiny frog. Yes, that's it. Go on the rock so we can see. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was trying to say, um, my, my hip's giving me a lot of grief today. It's uh, ever since I've swapped backpacks, really. So, I remember Brian had the same issue when he first swapped to a Gregory, so there seems to be something about their belts that's a bit weird. But, uh, uh, hopefully it'll sort itself out. So he's kind of had a break and uh, he's going to catch up with me in a minute. There's another one of those frogs They're everywhere. <laughs> there he is. Oh. <laughs> yeah, pretending to be stressed out by that little climb. I've got some weird legs on me today, beating everyone. 
Yeah, they look rather odd. Well, it's not really bothering me the height. Good. Well, may it continue. Enjoying some nice views for breakfast. We're not quite at the top of the climb, but... We're about three feet from the top. Yeah. In height. In height and another mile to go, but well, we yeah, figured that... 1.3. Hiking 10 miles before breakfast might just be a bit silly, so... <laughs> so we're sat at this little saddle here. It's actually campsite, so... Well, we're doing well we because we didn't get going till like quarter two. Yeah. No, we've, we're, we're doing well. You especially, doing all right today. Let's hope we can keep this up for a bit. Might get another 20 plus day done. Woo! On a roll. Still climbing. Well, we're going this way. On nice yellow flowers. Well, I think that is a beautiful view. It's starting to warm up like it did yesterday. Well, how about that for the view? Some, some beautiful lakes or ponds, or depending on what you call them. Lakes, ponds? Oh, yes. Ooh. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, get, get your cottage just a bit that down there. Yeah. There's a couple of holiday cottages. Yeah. Sorry, folks. Brian is buying the United States again. Yeah, it's so beautiful. <laughs> <sighs> what a beautiful area! It looks like Sauron's been here again. Hope you can see that bloody run trail. Din, din, din. <laughs> Hills of eyes. We're descending to the South Fork of the Scott River now. Having just bypassed some perfectly good campsites on the top of the saddle. Brian made me decide whether to stay there or to go on. And I decided to go on. So if it turns out that was a bum decision, it'll be my fault. This is a lovely valley. So about 10 minutes after saying, oh god, yeah, let's carry on and, you know, let's just chance it, um, we kind of decided to call it quits because we came across this lovely little spot. Uh, it's, uh, it's not on any of the maps, but it's clearly been used in the past. People building stupid fire rings again, but, you know, it can't be helped. <laughs> there is a scouser giving a thumbs up sign in a tent. Yay, there he is. <laughs> He's resting his back again. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's still too, too early to camp technically, but at least because we are there, the, the PCT crosses this particular stream just up there somewhere so we were able to collect a bit of water and do some washing basically you know just wash our socks out wash the dirt out and um, that was time well spent I think um, it leaves us with slightly longer than we wanted to tomorrow to get to Edna but we don't have to get to Edna. <clears throat> Tomorrow we can get there first thing the next day. It's it's no big deal. So all the panels are giving us a bit of jib at the moment. We don't know what it is. They don't seem to be charging anymore, which is worrying. I mean, we have abused the poor things and they're very, very scratched. But yeah, we keep moving them into sunny spots and hoping for the best, but it's it's worrying because I don't really want them to go. They have been very, very useful, but they are old, to be fair, you know. We didn't buy them for this trip, we've had them for a while, and as I said, they've been bashed about quite a bit. We started today's hike by regaining the PCT. I pretty much started the climb straight away. 
the morning was sort of four miles climbing, two miles flat, four miles climbing. Um, um, Brian was on fire for some reason and he just ran up these hills with me barely keeping up. We um, filled up with water around right here, so we stopped briefly and then carried on running to, um, to where we finally had breakfast, which I think was yeah, this one here, at the top of the, or well, almost at the top of the climb. A really nice spot. And um, then we only had a little bit more climb left to do. Lost all these trail junctions, including the bloody run trail. I'd love to know why it's called that. And we made our way downwards then to um, the Granite Creek tributary where we had lunch. Got there for about two, set off at three, fully intending to make it another long day, but then, you know, we hit these campsites here, actually that one there, and started to wonder about what would happen, because it, the, on the other side, basically from here on, on you, you drop down to the river, and then you start to climb, about a thousand to twelve hundred foot or something like that. The campsite we were aiming for is just off there, but it only fits two tents. And there were quite a lot of people in front of us. And we were thinking, if they're not, you know, if they had the same idea as us, get some of the, or half of that, that climb done today, um, then if, if you can't get to that campsite, you're committing yourself to another four or five miles. And we didn't think we had that in us. So we decided to just stay here, which is mile 1578. Point one. Good off. Fifty copies of after us, after and we don't know where we are. Chain around the corner, in Christmas pie. How come if I then punch me in the eye? What off? What off? We're off in the motor car. car. Right. <laughs> We're off our heads. Hello. It's the end of week 18. The hair's still fluffy. Yes, it shall remain fluffy, henceforth. Right, end of week 18, sorry. Um, not much to talk about this week, other than we finally broke the 20 mile curse. I don't know why it's such a big thing, the 20 mile thing, because when you do the maths, and I love doing maths, you can actually hike the entire PCT without ever hitting 20 miles and still finish it in 170 days. It's possible, mathematically possible. Realistically not so much, but but I think because everybody else does 20s and 30s for, for a laugh, it becomes a thing after a while. I mean, we have spent 18 weeks hiking and we've only now managed to get over 20. And it was so easy. <laughs> it was. <laughs> In the end, it really is easy. I think it's a mental thing. Yeah. Yeah, we've discovered, we, we finally... I suppose it means we finally got our trail legs. I, I don't think we did. I think we we, um, we scheduled our day in a different way. Mm. We'd have, we wake up because I don't like eating breakfast first thing. And we do three miles, three hours. <laughs> and then have breakfast. But we tend, we, when we did the 20, and from now on, most of it, we tend to do seven and a half miles before breakfast. Mm have breakfast, and then we'll do another three hours before lunch. Which would technically be another seven and a half. So and, you've, and then, you've done 15 miles before lunch. Yeah. So the other five are just like... Even, yeah. Easy. And that's, that's what I mean, we, we got our trail legs, but it wasn't what we expected. We thought it was a physical thing, which of course it is. I mean, we're hiking a little bit faster. We, we're not yeah. taking as many breaks up hills and stuff like that. We have become a little bit stronger, but mainly it was a... a, a switch that flicked over in our heads and just went if we do this then yep. 20 miles are easy i mean we knew that from the start 
we knew that 20 miles are in us because we've hiked 20 miles before. But somehow you fall into this rhythm of, of kind of going like, yeah, but you know, but this, but that. I think what, what mainly what happened is we stopped making excuses. You know, yeah. instead of saying, oh, we wanted to reach that campsite, we'll just fall a mile or two short because it doesn't matter. We're now going like we wanted to reach that campsite. Let's do a mile or two more because it doesn't matter. And suddenly you've got an extra four to five miles a day without, you know, mm. without any... Yeah, it's taken us forever to get there, but I suppose we're yeah, fine. Yeah, I, I, think, I think the way we got it was have it, yes, breaking the day, the day up yeah. in, in hours. That's, that's what worked for us. I mean, everybody is different. Most people just do... It, it's, it's that famous 10, 10 by 10 thing, which we finished once, I think. I think we have. <laughs> Um, so it all depends what time we get off. That obviously. works for some people to aim that way. For, for us, at first, we thought, oh, we do, you know, we, we thought in miles, we do so many miles before we have breakfast. We have so many miles. And, and that didn't seem to work because that then puts pressure on you. And when you're falling short of the miles, you kind of start to panic and everything. For us, it worked going in hours and saying, okay, we, do, we have a break every three hours and see how far we got. And, and lo and behold, we got as far as we wanted to get most of the time. Yeah. And then when we didn't, we didn't beat ourselves up. We just kind of went, okay, then we'll have to walk half an hour later in, in the evening, so what? Well. So, hey, yay us. Mm. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> um, in terms of spending this week, we had yeah the unfortunate incident with the resupply in Castella. So we had to spend another 188 dollars and 91 cent on resupply that technically we've already bought, but it is sitting in it. Um, we spent another three pound eighty on postage. Oh yeah, I sent some postcards. I was going to say why, how, um, and another lot of equipment. Ninety-two dollars six cents. Now this is a pure luxury because uh, you know it, I've moaned a couple of weeks back about how some unessential but pleasurable equipment breaking broke our back uh, in in North California and made us sulk and spit out our dummy that was actually our um, our music centers which we haven't even used for over a hundred days on the trail we hadn't even switched them on and they were the two things that were in my pouch when I fell into Tyndall Creek when I well I went in a little bit um, and I'd forgotten about them so they got damp and they both ended up being damaged mine and Brian's they were cheap little pieces of quit but it was just Brian's actually worked after the Sierra, fine, and he had it going in North North Cal um, on that day, and it just stopped working, and it was kind of what kept him going, what kept him, you know, speeding, motivated, motivated. and so that was kind of like, sort it, you know, we we didn't know where we were because Gatwick's never worked. We didn't on that particular day have that many views, so it was hard to judge where you were in terms of looking around because you were in the woods. And then the one thing that kept him kind of moving broke and it was like, dummy, way out. So yeah, we replaced them and some other little bits and bobs because $92 is not the music centers. Um, can't let them all remember, something else electronic we bought, I'm sure. Um, so that means that this week we spent altogether $284.77. Yay! Get it down to $100. Yeah, if we stop eating. Yeah. <laughs>